Hey guys, it's Drea and I'm coming at you um, with my week 17 update from VSG surgery that I had done on April 20th, 2015. First, I want to apologize for not updating you guys last week or updating myself really. Um, I did take my weight. I turned my phone in for some kind of repairs that I had done. I have the S5 and the little piece on the bottom, the port cover came off. So apparently it takes two weeks to fix that. So here I am. I'm updating you guys on my Sunday fun day. And yeah. So I'll go ahead and give you guys my stats. If you haven't been watching me or haven't watched my previous videos, you can feel free to go ahead and do that. But highest recorded weight, which was two weeks prior to my surgery, was 326 pounds. Day of surgery, I was 305. Two weeks ago, I came at you at 246.6. Last week, last Sunday, I had weighed in myself at 246. So I had lost 0.6 pounds two weeks ago. That was because Tom decided to visit me this last week or two weeks ago so anyways um yeah so that kind of freaking sucked today i'm coming at you at 239.8.8 that is a 6.2 pound loss for the week which i'm so stoked about because i have been weighing myself every day yeah i know <laughs> I know I'm a freak. So I weighed myself every day and I'm in 246 up until yesterday. Kid you not. And then I weigh in today at 239.8. I said, what? I'm so excited. I told my husband, I was so, I was so bummed this last week because of that. I told my husband about it and he said, honey, this happened to you before you lose like point something the week before, and then you lose a lot of weight. So don't even worry about it. And he was right. Kudos to him, right? <laughs> I'll give him that one thing, that one thing. So anyways, I'm very excited about it. Um, so for 19 weeks, because that's when my highest recorded weight was, I've lost 86.2 pounds. That's flipping awesome. Uh, my four month surgery, whatever the hell you want to call it, is coming up on the 20th. So I'll probably guys give you an update then so you guys can know. I probably won't even lose any weight. I usually don't lose anything for about until Thursday, until about Friday is whenever I start seeing a drop in the scale. It's funny, right? Um, so what happened to me this last week or two weeks, I've been gone for two weeks. So I had an NSV, another NSV uh, that was sitting in my car, not being able to see my seatbelt when I lap it over. Usually my stomach is right there so you can see it. Could not see it. Made me feel so tiny. It was awesome. I did wear a extra large swimsuit to the water park yesterday and I felt awesome in it. I felt so great. Um, this last week have not been doing Jillian Michaels and it was because my back went out. My I have lower back issues. I have done multiple MRIs. I have bulging discs and I have a tear back there. I have not seen my neurologist or whoever the hell you see. I don't even know what you call him. I haven't seen him since earlier this year and since I went ahead and hit my deductible on my insurance. I might go pay him a visit or they'll pay him for me to visit. So, <laughs> so I'm going to probably go check that out. My back is feeling better but I'm very scared of doing this kind of exercise right now. I don't know what flares it up. I have no clue. Don't know if it's because of stress or it's because of the workouts that I was doing. Level two of Jillian Michaels of the 30 day shred is mostly core. For lower back issues, you have to work your core, but it's planking and I it really, it was rough. It was really rough. So instead of doing, so I started doing instead of the planking because I felt like my back was going to flare up. Then I started doing what she did on level one, which was abs or whatever the hell she wanted to do. So I do like the Jillian Michaels 30 day shred. I love it. And I wish I could get through it. And I'll tell you now, if my back feels better, I probably will do it. So 
fingers crossed. Another thing that happened yesterday, actually happened, yeah, it happened yesterday. We went out for my sister's birthday um, to the water park and I realized that she is telling everybody and their mom about my surgery. Everybody. Now, I have not had any bad any bad comments about it. Uh, people have been all like, well, that's great and leave it at that. Um, I don't really know how to feel about that. It's not like I'm hiding it from anybody. I'm just not telling everybody in the flipping world except for you, YouTube. So if you watch me, you know, but not a lot of people even know I do YouTube videos in my personal life, um, except for my bestie and she's awesome. So anyways, besides that, not a lot of people know. I don't really know how to feel about it. Another thing I don't know how to feel about is people giving me compliments about how I look um, or asking if I've lost weight. Not giving me compliments. Like, yeah, you can give me, yeah, I say thank you. You know, I really appreciate it. But compliment, like, as in, have you lost a ton of weight? Or have you lost weight recently? Um, You know, I'm about 85 pounds down. I really... <laughs> I guess I was big enough that it wasn't really such a big deal until now. And maybe they'd just been holding back. But And maybe it was the clothes I was wearing because I didn't have any of my smaller pants washed. I didn't wash any of them. So I had to wear a size bigger, which were I was swimming in. It looked like I was swimming in them. Which, by the way, my size 20s um, pant-wise for work pants... I feel like I'm maybe in between sizes, so they're they're a little bit big, but they're gonna oh, okay, and it's okay because I do have size 18 in my box. So, anyways, today was the first day, and maybe it's because I weighed in at 239.8. I am starting to feel a little bit smaller, um, and actually, I feel like I want to go ahead and put it on camera what I look like, and how I feel about myself right now. Um, I'm feeling pretty good. I don't have any complaints about anything except for hair loss. Um, tips. Oh, I am taking biotin. I'm taking a thousand MCGs. I'm taking 4,000 a day. And along with my, along with my multivitamin, I think it puts me up to like 5,000 or something like that. So, um, hair loss is still happening. I, it's coming out in chunks in the, um, bathroom and I feel really bad for my husband because it looks like we have a German shepherd <laughs> or a husky. Um, yeah, just, it just comes out. I do wash my hair every other day. Um, some tr tricks I, that they said, you know, on the website is I do not blow my, I do not blow dry my hair. I let it air dry, which if you have curly hair, uh, you probably should not let it air dry only because it does poof out. Whenever I do blow dry it, it's a little bit straight and it's a little bit bleh. Um, another thing is they say do not part it down the middle. Part it, you know, down, you know, on the sides. I do see hair loss like here. I think a lot of people mention that like up in here. Uh, but other than that, I do see little hairs coming in. So it's not a big deal. It is what it is. That is my takeaway. Another takeaway that I have from this, you know, there's always a give and take. Um, one thing that I have had to, I don't know if you call that take or give. Anyways, heartburn. Heartburn has really been a huge factor and it hurts. It hurts. So I am trying to get with my normal doctor because my bariatric center is not doing a very good job of getting back to me which that means I called you like two weeks ago and you still haven't returned my calls. Um, so with that said, I'm trying to get into my normal doctor so I can go ahead and get that, whatever that heart medicine they get, heartburn medicine they give you or whatever. My sister kind of scared me and said it like messes with your bones. But if I'm taking calcium citrate, by the way, that's another thing I'll tell you, calcium, if I'm taking that, then I should be fine, right? Um, the calcium citrate, I was taking the Viactive and then my mom reminded me that it has to say citrate, calcium citrate on there. Yeah, the Viactive doesn't say that. It just says calcium. 
So, which I guess is a different way that it's absorbed. So I did get the calcium citrate from like the Spring Valley kind uh, that you can get from Walmart. I got the calcium citrate and I started taking, you're supposed to take up to a thousand milligrams. It was in milligrams a day or yeah, a thousand milligrams a day. Well, a serving of those is only like, you know, the ones I got was 640. So, and for two pills, two horse pills. So I decided to go ahead and take only one serving because I am getting my calcium through cheese, um, as in cottage cheese, you know, string cheese, any kind of cheese, or you can get your calcium through milk as well. So that's another option for you. I was realizing whenever I took two um, servings, which is four pills a day, I was getting a headache. So I've cut it back and the headaches have gone away. No big deal. This last week, because I have not been working out, I've only done three meals a day. I have been hitting my protein goals barely, barely. Um, one way I'm getting it in is these that protein fiber stuff that I showed you guys on my food haul. Um, I am putting those in my water. This is like the peach mango. I'm like obsessed with peach and peaches. Mm. I do not eat them, but I like peach flavored crap, um, which my family finds kind of funny. Uh, anyway, so I am going to go ahead and know I'm at 11 minutes already. I'm sorry. I'm catching up from two weeks. Give me a break, right? Um... Let's see, what else do I have to report before I go ahead and get to my body? Uh, I'm not going to take off my clothes, so chill out. That'll be on the 20th. <laughs> That's when I usually give you guys a body shot. Um, yeah, I just wanted to show and put it on camera what I'm feeling right now. Uh, like I said, I have not been feeling too well, guys. I have been feeling 326 pounds. I've been feeling kind of like, oh, you know, like... This weight's not coming off, but it's because I've been weighing myself every day. So, look, don't, you know, don't do it if it makes you feel horrible. I don't really have any tips right now. And actually, there's been a lot of people on here giving tips. And I give everybody kudos for that. One thing I do want to touch base on, I know it's 12 minutes and you guys have something else to do. And it's Sunday fun day, so I'm pretty sure y'all have a lot to do. But a lot of people don't talk about meet and greets. I am 150% down. I really, I really, I don't care where it's at. I will drive. I love road trips. I love road trips. Um, I know the people were talking about something that's happening in Tennessee next year in May, and I'm all for that. Um, they've been talking about cruises, and yes, hello, get me out of the Midwest. Do you think I... I mean, I don't even get to see water like that except for fake ass water parks. So yeah, definitely down for whatever. Um, so anyways, I'll definitely be watching other people's videos. I'm catching up on you guys trying to get back. Like I just said, I got back my phone. So keep me informed. Let me know what's up because Dre is definitely down. Um, okay, so I'll go ahead and show you guys how I'm feeling and what I'm seeing. And I don't know. Yeah, give you guys a shot with my clothes on. So I'll see you guys in a minute. All right. Okay, so first thing I want to show you guys is my wall of motivation. Um, I got these just like, you can actually just Google them probably. Uh, but this is all of the things that I look at whenever I'm working out. Um, and it keeps me motivated. It keeps me like keep going, you know, cause you know, most of the time you're like sitting there like, Oh my gosh, am I done yet? Um, yeah. So this is my workout room. Yeah. That's the mat. That's my TV. And I watch everything on. Those are my weights. Jillian Michaels. I'm missing the two, three pounds. I'm going to ask my husband to try to find them and he hasn't. So, and that's my daughter's pony cycle, which for some reason we feel like it needs to be up in here. So this is me. This is me at 239.8. Uh, one thing I've been noticing that I hate is my arms. I've been touching them a lot lately. I don't know why I'm doing that, but this is me. This is me from the side. And this is Jillian Michaels. You see that? Oh, yeah. It's called squats, baby. She works you out. So this is why I wanted to show you guys because I'm like, 
This is an extra large shirt. These are from Old Navy, if you guys ever go there. Um, this is, these are from Old Navy. These are awesome workout pants. I love them. I wore them not only as workout pants, but I work them, I wear them whenever I go out. They're workout compression pants. So it's like compressing all of that stuff, all this hanging stuff that I got here. So sorry. I said, I said no skin, right? So anyways, this is me. I'm so happy. So yeah. But all right, so I'll see you guys next week, and I hope you guys have a great week, and um, I'll see you then. Bye.